Why would a builder make YouTube videos? Number one, it's a great way to update our clients about their builds, about what we're building, about what's coming up. We're in the Avalon 2 lot subdivision and the back house is right on the last legs. The boys have been doing an awesome job of the cladding. We did the main fill yesterday and they're just doing a top up right now. Number two, it's a great way to have an industry discussion that's valuable to multiple people without me having to have that discussion over and over and over. Timber, I'm holding the last piece, guys. It's running out. Masterboard, I'm holding the last piece, guys. Remember when we did that with Timber? Weatherboard, 42 week delay. Roofing coils, 16 weeks. Safit, 20 weeks. Cedar weatherboard. Bye, you're dreaming. Number three, it's a great way to educate people, not just my clients and my team, but anyone interested in building a home. They are all fixed together by brackets, bracket nails, screws, and usually, an apprentice. Normally we think about weighing things down, but stopping things blowing away is also one of the considerations when we're designing and installing roof trusses. Well, as a builder, we can do a set out ourselves. What we do nowadays is every one of our homes is set out by a surveyor. We get them to come and use their GPS instruments and mark exactly where the corners of the building are going. Number four, it's a portfolio of our work, the things we're doing, the projects. I get a sense of satisfaction out of sitting back and watching the projects unfold.